I want to go to Fort Myers Beach. Uh, that, of course, is one of our fragile communities, uh, low-lying communities, and we could see storm surge there. That is why there is a mandatory evacuation in place for the entire island of Fort Myers Beach. Our community correspondent, Miyoshi Price, is there live this morning, and people have to be out and off island by 3 o'clock. Correct, Miyoshi? Absolutely. Three o'clock. That's what the town of Fort Myers has notified residents and business owners. So I've been walking around talking to residents and business owners about their preparation. And I'm telling you, I'm seeing so many tarps be put up, also sandbags. And if you have not gotten your sandbags, those things are still available today. Also, that hurricane reentry pass, those are also available today for final preparations. Like all of our local governments and state governments are saying, the time is now. That window of preparing is starting to close. So you want to make sure you have everything that you need. But we're right here in front of Margaritaville, and I talked to their media relations person, and she said majority of their guests are already gone, and the few that wanted to stay, they're providing some shelter in their Naples sister location. Handful of people that work for Margaritaville will be on call just to make sure that nothing goes wrong like electricity and things like that. But I was speaking to another business owner at Melly's Ice Cream and she says she's born and raised here and loves to be on this island. But this process of just getting prepared for this storm is giving her PTSD of what took place before Ian. Well, it's it's a lot. <laughs> it's very emotional. Um, it's a lot of things to clean up, a lot of things to, you know, organize and just try to keep everything safe and get everything out of here as quick as we can. An evacuation order. Lee County has not issued an evacuation order just yet. That decision may come around today at noon, but they were telling folks you don't have to wait for the evacuation order if you live on those residential areas that are flood prone, inland, or even those coastal areas. Make sure that you check your emergency family plan. Make sure you look at those emergency supply kits and you have enough water to last you for a few days. Really get ready right now because again, that window is closing, but be sure to stay with us on air and online for all of those updates because we are tracking Milton and keeping you informed. I'm live in Fort Myers Beach, Miyoshi Price, Fox 4.